Yeah, I mean the same thing with man over now. Yeah, I mean the same thing with man over. Hey, hey, hey fed up. I'm stop fed up. Come here, come here, come here. See that stop in us? I'll slap your hair, boy. I'll slap you. I'll slap your dog. You tell me the same thing over and over and over. Maybe over and over. What do you mean over and over? I'll slap you, boy. I'll slap you more from my face. You tell me, what's a guy to do? What's a lady to say? Brother killing brother. Sisters fighting every day. Where's the love? Where's the joy? Has this nation succumbed to the one who came to steal, kill and destroy? Why is this happening? I don't understand. Have we lost all hope in this twin island? Okay, let's look at the facts and break it down a little. Let's try to keep it short and make it simple. Our country is plagued with many an issue. From a small man with a gun to the government of power being misused. Too many youths in gangs and the dirty yet white color crime. Certainly we need an intervention that's divine. To the man being treated like he is worthless by the mother of his son. Little does he realize that a real woman would lend a hand and not raise one. There's a young girl who feels like help is on earth because she was forsaken by her parents from birth. Why do these things happen? Certainly we can't explain it all. But what is it that we're missing? Why does our nation continually fall? Our source is wrong and we need a change in connection. We need the one who can rectify their circumstances by the power of resurrection. Many in this nation are in a fright. They are mentioning SOE, but we need something different like an SOD, state of dependency. Not on ourselves or our leaders, but simply upon the one called Jesus. You see, that's our problem. We refuse to accept the truth. To get through this plague, we must attack its root. So let's talk about section 34 in the book of Psalms. Verse 17 says the Lord delivers the righteous from harm. Whether that be troubles or anything else, we must depend on God and forget self. That's why we're here in the first place. We've forsaken His word. We've mixed it with the world and expected that to do us good. Becoming the world, walking and talking. Being salt and light. Following the instructions and orders of Jesus the Christ. This is a step in the right direction. One of the most important you can make. Praying not just for yourself, but for your country's sake. Let's reveal to him. Let's go back. Too long in this country, it's one main thing that we lack. An image, a reflection of what we should look like. When people see our countenance, they should see Jesus Christ. And little by little, prayer by prayer, we make a change, having that faith in God and calling upon His name. Humbling ourselves, seeking His face, turning over a new leaf and changing from our wicked ways. Then He'll hear, He'll hear from heaven. All our wrongs will be washed away, our sins will be forgiven. Our lands will be healed and we'll finally be free and we bring honor to the name, La Trinity.